We've seen how to create service level objectives for services running on GKE. But what if your services aren't? Today, I'm going to show you how to create custom services and define SLOs to measure their reliability. This is the Stack Doctor. As we covered in our earlier episode, services running on GKE are automatically discovered by SLO monitoring if you're using the Istio service mesh. If you're not, you can easily select GKE entities and create services against them. If your services aren't on GKE, you need to define them as custom services. As you can see, you're not limited to just the out-of-the-box service types in service monitoring. You can create custom services. You have two options. You can use the API directly, or you can use an automation tool like Terraform. Once a service is created, you can then use the UI to create SLOs against it. Let's take a look at the API method first. To invoke the API, make a POST request to the services endpoint within your project, specifying the service ID as a parameter. The body of the request should contain the name you'd like to see in the UI. And there you are. Now that the service has been created, you can use the UI to create an SLO against it. Note that you have to specify other as the metric for your SLI. This is a custom service, and there's no automatic measure of performance or availability for it. As such, you need to have a good SLI for the service. For a start, you might be able to use a metric emitted by the Google Cloud Load Balancer, such as request count. Now, otherwise, you need to instrument your service to emit SLIs. For an example, take a look at our earlier episode on using OpenTelemetry to do just that. As you can see, creating a custom service using an API call is pretty straightforward. From there, you could use the API or the UI to define your SLO. But what if you want to automate this process? This is where Terraform comes in. You may remember that we covered using Terraform to create monitoring configurations like uptime checks, dashboards, and alerting policies in the previous episode. If not, no worries, we'll link to that episode below. To quickly bring you up to speed, Terraform is an open source tool that allows us to define infrastructure and monitoring configurations as code. That includes defining services and SLOs. Here's how you can define a service and an SLO against it in Terraform. Let's walk through the code together so that it's clear. First, define the basics. Specify Google Cloud as the provider and define your service. For the service, you just need to provide a service ID that's unique to your project and a display name. Next, define the SLO. Specify an ID for it and a display name. Next, specify whether you want to use a request-based or a Windows-based SLI. Then, specify the metric you want to use as your SLI. And finally, determine how you'd like the SLI to be evaluated. Note that I'm just using a single metric in this example. For a request-based SLO, you might have separate metrics that you want to use to represent total requests and good requests, or perhaps the same metric with different filters applied. Both of those are absolutely supported by SLO monitoring to allow you to calculate a ratio. The final step is to define your target or goal expressed as a fraction that should be less than one and your compliance period as either a rolling or a calendar window. Once your definition is done, run the Terraform plan command to validate your configuration and make sure that two resources will be created, your service and your SLO. Finally, run Terraform apply to actually create the resources. Confirm that you want to do this at the prompt and verify that the two resources you wanted got created. Return to the console and verify that your service was created and that it has an SLO defined against it. In the services detail screen, make sure that your service is currently compliant with your SLO if that's what you expect. Thanks for joining me today. We learned how to define custom services using the API and Terraform and how to automate setting SLOs against our services. Now you are ready to start defining your own services and setting SLOs against them. Thanks for watching and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.